Chapter 51 Something happened to Li Shui. you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 51 Something happened to Li Shui. Chapter 51 Something happened to Li Shui. deep into the night, the stars dotted the sky making the courtyard not too dark. Inside a room, the sound of snoring could be heard. Luo Tian was in a deep, deep slumber. He hadn't slept in eight days so of course he was dead tired. But. A slight energy fluctuation appeared in the middle of his courtyard. This caused the eyes of the sleeping Luo Tian to suddenly tremble. Hit by a flash of alertness, he immediately sat up. He sent out his senses and his lips curved into a smile. Luo Tian put on some overalls and walked out of his room, it's true. You've already entered the profound master realm. At first I didn't believe it but now I have to. You are truly too impressive. A dark shadow stood there motionless with a cold look. His tone clearly showed his unconstrained anger, hatred, and killing intent. Luo Tian didn't get close and stayed a safe distance away. He lightly smiled, you didn't merely come here to confirm that I broke through to the profound master realm right. The thick killing intent released by Luo Jianshan caused Luo Tian to be a bit surprised. Was this released because of Luo Chen? Impossible. Because Luo Tian had been too arrogant these past few days. Also impossible. Releasing killing intent because Luo Shaoshan hadn't returned yet. Also impossible. This killing intent was so thick that one would only release when they had a death feud. That's why Luo Tian came to the conclusion that it should be for his son Luo Lin. Only killing another's son would incite such strong killing intent. From the looks of things, it appears Luo Jianshan has finally found out. Luo Tian's mind was only a bit surprised so his facial expression didn't show any noticeable changes. It was clear that Luo Jianshan wasn't going to make a move against him yet by just standing there. At least it wasn't right now because his name was still a golden color. Let's get straight to the point. You will die tomorrow. Luo Jianshan said frankly. Luo Tian's eyebrows quivered, oh. Luo Jianshan continued. You don't have to die, Luo Tian asked. What's the condition? Luo Jianshan's lips slightly curved into a confident smile, take out the furious Thunder Bull's demon core, cripple your own cultivation, and I will allow you live the rest of your life peacefully. Oh. Luo Tian made two O's before asking a bit excitedly. You're not going to avenge your son. You're not going to avenge your little brother Luo Shaoshan. You're not going to avenge your trusted subordinate Luo Ming. Luo Tian. Luo Jianshan roared out as his aura turned into a biting cold feeling. His rage soared up and the killing intent permeated the entire courtyard. Powerful, Luo Jianshan's strength was truly powerful. Luo Tian was hiddenly shocked but still faintly smiled as he said to himself. It can't be the last boss if he weren't powerful. Hugh, Luo Jianshan heavily exhaled before saying. They have already died. Living people must keep living so that's why I can let it go. Luo Tian was very surprised as he never imagined Luo Jianshan would be so easygoing. Of course. Luo Tian wouldn't believe him. He wasn't an idiot. Cripple his own cultivation and once again become a trash that people could pick on. Luo Tian was truly wondering if Luo Jianshan had been dropped on the head when he was a baby or was struck by lightning. How could he even say such words? But. He finally found out why Luo Jianshan had continuously held back instead of taking him out, the demon core. The furious Thunder Bull's demon core. Luo Tian realized he never laid hands on the demon core. Thinking to the scene in the past, he faintly smiled. Looks like Fatty Lei went up six levels continuously because of the demon core. The energy of demon cores was truly powerful. Luo Tian turned around and started walking back to his room while saying. My apologies. You can let everything go but this daddy cannot. I will see you at the battle arena tomorrow. 
Luo Tian honestly couldn't let everything go. When you're playing a video game and see a boss, can you let it go? Wouldn't you want to find ways to kill it? Why bother playing video games if you see a boss and not kill it? Why play at all? Luo Tian will never let this go. Ignoring the boss part, just the point that Luo Jianshan had detained Li Shui and Feng Lei was already something Luo Tian couldn't let go. You dare to move against this daddy's brother. Courting death. You dare to bully this daddy's woman. That's like courting ultimate death. Luo Jianshan narrowed his eyes and coldly smiled. He then said in a cold tone. You will change your mind tomorrow but by then, the conditions won't be as simple as crippling your own cultivation. After saying that, Luo Jianshan walked out of the courtyard. His facial expression looked much calmer and his actions much more leisurely compared to when he first came. Hey boss, what did Luo Jianshan talk to you about? Once Luo Jianshan left, Feng Lei came out of his room and yawned while scratching his bald head. Luo Tian smiled, nothing much, quickly go back to sleep. Suddenly, Luo Tian remembered something and casually asked. Hey fatty, do you have the Furious Thunder Bulls demon core? Uh. Boss, while this one was absorbing the blood essence, a crystal-like stone was sucked in as well. This one didn't know what it was, so it's called a demon core. Right now it's within my body but this one doesn't know how to take it out. Feng Lei answered in serious manner. Luo Tian smiled, don't worry about it then, go back to sleep. Dawn, the sky started to light up. Luo Jianshan stood in his courtyard looking up at the faintly bright skies without moving. A while later. A black shadow landed. A person with a similar age to Luo Jianshan stood in the courtyard. His eyes had a defined look to it while he gave off a strong profound master's aura. Zhou family's patriarch, Zhou Tai Ran. At the peak profound master 8th rank, his strength was also extremely powerful. Zhou Tai Ran glanced up into the sky as well but found it boring. Brother Luo, I had someone put the drug you gave me into the food source of the lava lizard. Can you tell me what the drugs for now? Luo Jianshan faintly smiled and stopped looking at the sky. Aphrodisiac. Just a little bit and it will cause a virgin to go out of control. An aphrodisiac. A sudden thought hit Zhou Tai Ran as he recalled the bucketful of aphrodisiac. His mind then felt shocked as he incredulously asked. What would happen to the lava lizard if it consumed so much aphrodisiac? Luo Jianshan's smile turned cold and said. It will change into a fifth-rank demonic beast. Zhou Tyron's eyes trembled as he felt shocked from those words. This Luo Jianshan was too sinister. The night went by peacefully, but beneath this peace were hidden undercurrents. Luo Jianshan was secretly planning everything. This time, not only would he get the demon core, he was going to make Luo Tian suffer complete devastation to the point where his soul would disperse. Luo Tian wouldn't even be able to enter hell even if he wanted to. Early morning. Luo Tian washed up before bringing Fatty Lei with him towards the direction of the battle arena. Fatty Lei, have you seen that girl? Sister Dutton. Law, I haven't seen her yet, perhaps she left before us. Oh, Luo Tian couldn't help feeling something ominous. Ha ha ha, little brother Luo, I'll be cheering for you today. I happen to put my entire life savings on you so don't let me down. Song Yanchun laughed as he came up. At his side, there was a refined looking man who nodded towards Luo Tian with a smile. Song Yan Nan, the Song family's patriarch. Luo Tian also politely smiled back but didn't walk up to greet him. At this time, a male who looked like an ordinary civilian ran up to Luo Tian and handed him something. Someone wanted me to give you this. Luo Tian opened it up and his expression immediately changed. His entire body erupted into rage, Luo Jianshan, F asterisk CK your ancestors. Something happened to Li Shui. Chapter 52 The fight begins you are listening at novelfull.audio
Chapter 52, The Fight Begins Chapter 52, The Fight Begins, Boss, What's Going On? Little Brother Luo, Why Are You Suddenly So Angry? Song Yennan's eyebrows slightly frowned as he walked up and asked. Brother Luo Tian, what happened? Luo Tian was holding on to a hairpin. He was very familiar with this hairpin because it was still being worn by Li Shui yesterday. He never imagined. He underestimated how sinister Luo Jianshan was willing to act. In the eight days he was training in the ghostly mountain range, Li Shui and Feng Lei didn't encounter too much trouble. Luo Tian thought that Luo Jianshan wouldn't do anything to them because his son and his brother were actually killed by him, so it had nothing to do with others. But. Luo Tian was too naive. He was truly too naive. Warning bells should have been set off with Luo Jianshan's appearance last night. How could he be so neglectful when dealing with such a sinister person like Luo Jianshan? Luo Tian felt it was entirely his fault. His own woman had been detained for a second time now, causing the rage inside him to erupt like a volcano. That sister dot in dot law's hairpin. Boss, did something happen to sister dot in dot law? Phone Lei's eyes tightened as rage started rushing towards his head upon seeing the hairpin. Song Yen Nan frowned and asked. It was Luo Jianshan. Luo Tian nodded, right. Song Yen Nan was in thought for a while. He clenched his fist once and then released it, Brother Luo Tian, just say it if you need our assistance. These words had heavy connotation. Song Yen Nan was the patriarch so his words were the words of the entire Song family. He knew that Luo Jianshan had held someone close to Luo Tian as hostage. The words he had said out loud clearly meant that just by Luo Tian's request, the Song family will go to war with the Luo family. Luo Tian very extremely grateful and said. Thank you for your kind intentions big brother Song, but this matter is personal and I wish to take care of it on my own. Of course he had to solve it personally. If by chance that Luo Jianshan gets KO'd by the Song family, then this last boss will have no relations to him at all. Moreover, he had to beat the shit out of the damn old dog. If he doesn't see shit come out, there's no way he could vent and pacify his anger. It was at this time that the man who delivered the package spoke again. That person said that the conditions you two talked about are still in place. As long as you hand over that item, he will immediately let the girl go. Item. What item? Phone Lei grabbed onto the guy and lifted him into the air and roared. Speak clearly to this daddy. What sort of item is it? The man started shaking from fright as he mumbled. Great Lord, I'm only here to deliver the message. I have no clue what that so-called item is. Luo Tian faintly said. Don't make things hard on him, he's merely here to deliver the message. After being in thought for a while, Luo Tian decided to frankly say. He wants the furious Thunder Bull's demon core. Song Yennan's eyes changed as he received the shock. Everyone present all felt the shock of those words. A demon core contained almost endless energy. It was even more precious than a Xian stone so it was considered a supreme treasure to martial cultivators. Phone Lei's eyes changed to a more uplifted expression as he lowered the man back to the ground. He then looked around with a foolish grin, so it's just the furious Thunderbull's demon core, I'll give it to him. While saying that, he pulled out an extremely sharp machete that he had sharpened for eight days from his space plaque. Phone Lei had no hesitation as he lifted up his clothes and was about to slice upon his stomach. He was still like a grinning fool who didn't care about the consequences. Luo Tian's eyes changed as he quickly snatched the machete out of Phone Lei's hands. He then screamed. Fatty Lei, have you gone crazy? Do you think you can still take out a demon core after ingesting it? Phone Lei didn't bother thinking too much about it. As long as he can take out the demon core from his stomach and save his sister dot in dot law, anything was fine. Who cares if he dies in the process? He had never cared about his own life before. 
In his heart, Luo Tian was always in the first position. Anything pertaining to Luo Tian and he would use his life on the line to accomplish it. This was a promise he gave to Luo Tian's parents and it will be something he has taken to heart for the rest of his life. Boss, the demon core was eaten by me so I just have to dig it out. Fong Lei tried to explain himself. So what if you manage to dig it out? Not only does Luo Jianshan want the furious Thunder Bulls demon core, he wants me to cripple my cultivation making me become the trash that everyone picks on again. Luo Tian loudly yelled out. It wasn't enough to cripple him once, he wanted to cripple Luo Tian a second time. Luo Jianshan was too sinister. Feng Lei was stunned as he mumbled. Boss, what should we do then? We're not saving sister. In. Law. We will. Of course we will save her. Not only will we save her, we will do it the most magnificent fashion. Luo Tian's eyes changed as he looked at the scared delivery man and said. Go back and tell him that I don't have the furious Thunderbolt's demon core. But I will dig out the one from the demonic beast at the battle arena and give it to him as replacement. Remind him not to touch a single hair on the girl or else I'll overturn the graves of his ancestors. Did you remember everything I've said? I. I heard it and remember everything. Now scram. The delivery man half crawled and half ran away from the group. Immediately after. Luo Tian looked at Feng Lei, make sure all our brothers are prepared. Once the fight ends at the battle arena, we'll settle everything with Luo Jianshan. Feng Lei nodded in a serious manner and roared. Good. Song Yennan looked calm on the surface but his heart was palpitating like a stormy sea. He couldn't imagine that this person in front of him was a 16-year-old Luo Tian who had his Dantian crippled and his cultivation wasted. What had he encountered that made him so much stronger now? Looks like a good show is about to start. Song Yen Nan wanted to mention his assistance again but stopped himself as the words were about to be spoken. This was an internal matter of the Luo family. If an outsider like him interfered, it might actually negatively affect Luo Tian. If he couldn't help out in the open, then he will help out secretly then. Song Yen Nan turned to the side and whispered to his attendant. Dispatch all the Song family's elite disciples. Have them disguise themselves and search for the whereabouts of Li Shui. Make sure they understand not to ignore any movements of Luo Jianshan. The attendant nodded and silently disappeared into the crowd. Song Yen Nan watched as the back of Luo Tian gradually faded off into the distance. His blood that had been silent all these years started boiling up again, the fight between two individuals with the biggest strength disparity in the history is about to start. One of our Jade Mountain City's four major families, the Luo family's Luo Tian versus a fourth-ranked demonic beast, the huge lava lizard, the ear-deafening voice of the host spread throughout the battle arena. When the name, Lava Lizard, was heard, the 10,000-plus spectators in the battle arena couldn't help but shiver from the chill in their hearts. A Lava Lizard was an existence similar to a nightmare for the people of the Jade Mountain City. Hundreds of thousands killed and half the city destroyed. Although this had happened many years ago, there were still many places in the Jade Mountain City where people could still witness the devastation of the past. That's right. The lava lizard today is exactly the descendant of that lava lizard of the past that killed over a hundred thousand people in our city. As the words of the host faded, the spectators started boiling with fear and excitement. There were even some parts of the arena where people started panicking. There were still people lingered in fear from the horrifying scenes of the past. What if the lava lizard were to rush up to the seats where the spectators were sitting? But after recalling that this battle arena was run by the mysterious organization called Violet, the fear in their hearts started to drop down a bit. The Violet organization had methods for controlling a 10th-ranked demonic beast at the Great Perfection stage, let alone controlling a little 4th-ranked demonic beast. Immediately after. On the spectator's seats, everyone started grinning and laughing once again. Haha, <laughs> this daddy is gonna be rich this time. Luo Tian will definitely die. 
This is practically a slaughter, pure slaughter. I dare to bet that the piece of trash Luo Tian won't even survive for 10 seconds. The way I see it, he won't even survive for a single second. Ha ha ha, the spectator stands were all boiling in fervor as many people were red from excitement. There was no suspense in this fight because Luo Tian will surely die. The host cleared his throat before loudly announcing. We will now invite out Luo Tian and his attendant Fong Lei to the arena. The huge gates of the battle arena opened up. Luo Tian and Fong Lei then came out not too fast or too slow. Luo Tian turned a deaf ear as numerous boos were heard from the spectator stands. Soon after, another huge gate opened and without waiting for the host to speak, the huge lava lizard rushed out like crazy with a person in his mouth. The blood from the person had sprayed out all over, dyeing the grounds red. Roar. Dot. The extremely ferocious looking face exuded a powerful and peerless aura of a primitive beast. Its brutal and unbridled aura then enveloped the entire battle arena. It started rampaging around the area upon making its appearance. Terrifying. Terrifying to the extreme. Chapter 53 The line between life and death you are listening at novel full dot audio. Chapter 53 The line between life and death Chapter 53 The line between life and death Boom dot. This battle arena was not much different to the ancient Roman Colosseum except the surface area was larger. The round grandstand surrounding the stage could accommodate over 10,000 spectators. The lava lizard that appeared was still chewing a staff member as blood dripped out of its jaws. None of the audience was afraid and actually started screaming for more blood. The stronger the lava lizard was, the more excited everyone was. The more bloody the fight was, the more excited the audience would become. Above the ordinary seats were the luxury rooms. Inside them, everyone was screaming crazily out of excitement like they had taken some drugs or something. Ha, huh, a fourth-rank demonic beast. A fourth-rank lava lizard is too mother of asterisk king powerful. Luo Tian is screwed. Kill him. Kill those two pieces of trash. Ha ha ha, this lava lizard is just like its mother in the past. Domineering beyond measure and would start eating people upon appearing. Just being able to witness the lava lizard is worth the admission fee already. The body of the lava lizard looked like it was spraying out fire. Its leathery skin looked similar to molten rocks floating in magma. Its eyes looked like they were filled with blood and each breath it exhaled was like spitting out fire. The heat exuding from its body had actually swept through the entire arena causing the temperature to increase several degrees. Its eyes looked unfocused but seemed to be filled with madness. The powerful aura it exuded had just rolled right through everything. It was too powerful. Luo Tian had never experienced something this powerful before. It was like a completely different level when comparing the furious thunderbolt to it. Suddenly, Luo Tian's eyes changed as he faintly said to himself, Is this thing really a fourth-rank demonic beast? How come it's so powerful? The feeling the lava lizard gave him was too strong. The aura it exuded was particularly violent. Luo Tian's heart sank as he reminded Fong Lei. Fatty Lei, be extra careful. Fong Lei's eyes narrowed and said. Boss, no matter how much I send out my senses, this four-legged serpent is much stronger than the furious thunderbolt. They wouldn't have sent out a fifth-rank demonic beast right. Fong Lei's words caused Luo Tian's expression to change for the worse. Recalling how sinister and cold Luo Jianshan's smile was, Luo Tian clenched his fists and viciously said. F asterisk CK Luo Jianshan you mother of asterisk cur, you're truly too ruthless. The lava lizard was constantly roaring inside the arena. It acted extremely irritated as it smashed against the walls like crazy as if it was berserk and trying to escape. Even if it weren't a fifth-rank demonic beast, it should be a demonic beast at the peak of the fourth rank. Someone definitely tampered with the beast or else it wouldn't go berserk right after being let out. Something's wrong. 
inside a private room for internal staff. Li Gui's face changed as he turned around and asked. Who was responsible for feeding it? The several managers looked at each other for a while before someone finally stood up and cautiously said. The person responsible for feeding it had just been bitten to death. How did you guys manage this? The lava lizard has been drugged and its current strength has reached a fifth-ranked demonic beast. This fight needs to be stopped so immediately execute the emergency protocols. Li Gui scolded. Wait a minute. The deputy general manager Lu Yu stood up and said. General manager Li, if we cancel the fight, we'll be paying out a huge loss. This figure is related to our entire year's sales figure. The lava lizard has been drugged and is now in a berserk state. I'm afraid even the emergency protocols may not be of any use and we might even encounter casualties on our end. How about we wait for the drug effects to pass first before we go stop it? Everything should be fine as long as we can guarantee the safety of the audience. As for Luo Tian and the other guy, whether the lava lizard is in its normal state or its berserk state, those two are dead anyways. This outcome will not change so there's really no need for us to stop it right now. Lu Yu then excitedly laughed and said. General manager, once he dies, we will be able to net earn the five Xian stones. Just relying on the five Xian stones will give us huge promotions. You can't be wanting to stay in this tiny place forever right? One could gain huge promotions when earning lots of money. Li Gui's heart was moved. Who would care if this fight was fair or not? Who would care if Luo Tian lived or died? Once Luo Tian dies, everyone will be happy and everyone will make money. Li Gui frowned and a image formed on his forehead. He finally loosened up his expression and clasped his hands behind his back. He no longer brought up this topic. In another luxury room. Ha ha ha, Patriarch Luo truly has good abilities you were even able to cause the lava lizard to go berserk. Its current strength is comparable to a fifth-ranked demonic beast, admiration, you have my full admiration. Zhou Tairan laughed out in a carefree manner. Luo Jianshan proudly smiled, not really, not really, this was all thanks to Patriarch Zhou for this to succeed. Ha ha ha, a common enemy was dealt by both of us, that's what you call a win.win -win situation. Not to mention that I placed a huge bet on the lava lizard. I'm going to be earning a huge profit after this. Zhou Tairan laughed very leisurely. Behind those two was Luo Changshan with an excited expression who asked. The Battle Arena's Violet Organization has a huge background. What if they decide to investigate this? Investigate. Ha ha ha, the person that fed the drugs to the lava lizard has already been bitten to death. How are they going to investigate it? Zhou Tairan loudly laughed. At the side of these three was another person. The moment the lava lizard had appeared, he was constantly cursing in whispers. Play him to death, kill him, ha ha ha, Luo Tian, Yu Dei has come, ha ha ha, Luo Chen's expression was like a lunatic. The more Luo Tian retreated in the arena, the more his heart was blooming in happiness. Except for when he spoke, the people next to him would clutch their nose because the smell of horse manure was simply too nauseating. Apart from the four of them, there was one other person, an unconscious girl. She was dressed in all white. Her skin was smooth like jade, her holy, pure, and cute face would cause anyone to be amazed. The girl was exactly Li Shuer. While Luo Tian was away training for the eight days, it looked like Luo Jianshan had done nothing. The reality was that he had spied on Li Shuer and Feng Lei and managed to grasp everything about their daily routines. It was because of this that Luo Jianshan was able to find a time and place to drug Li Shuer. Luo Jianshan glanced at the unconscious Li Shuer with eyes of success. His lips gently curved to a smile as he couldn't help praise. She is definitely the embodiment of a beauty. Lin Er, I will make sure to bury her so she can accompany you in the afterlife. Inside the battle arena. Boom, 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 
the lava lizard was extremely irritated as it roared, smashed, and trampled around everywhere. The large amount of aphrodisiac made it go crazy looking for a female. Since it couldn't find one, it finally locked eyes onto Luo Tian. After pawing on the ground, it leapt off its hind legs and rushed out like a tank barreling down. L.R.G. Ah, uh, oh, kill him. The audience in the spectator stands all stood up as they watched how the lava lizard was going to rip Luo Tian apart. Luo Tian's eyes tightened as he exhaled a deep breath. He then shouted. Fatty, maneuver behind it and wait for an opportunity to attack. Understood. Phone Lei didn't bother with any more words and immediately dashed off to the side. Fu, Fu, the hot breath from the lava lizard sprayed out towards Luo Tian making it feel like his body was on fire. His eyes changed as he clenched his arms with power. Bzzz, a huge amount of profound energy was released. Immediately after, the power of the profound master realm rippled out along with the aura's release. The thick, heavy, and powerful aura wanted to burst out of Luo Tian all at once. His arms were shaking with power as he finally clenched his fists. His eyes flashed. Luo Tian leapt up into the air as he raised his fists up and then smashed down like a battle axe towards the lava lizard. This attack was purely made up of strength. Many viewers looked on in horror. Inside a luxury room, Luo Jianshan's face suddenly had an ugly expression on it. Profound Master Third Rank, that kid actually broke through to the Profound Master Third Rank. In those short eight days, he consecutively broke through three times. No one could compare to him with that speed. So what if he's at the Profound Master Third Rank? When facing the Lava Lizard with the strength of a fifth-rank demonic beast, it will be hard for Luo Tian to stay alive even if he wanted to. Zhou Tairan laughed out even though he was a bit surprised. Luo Jinshan's lips curved into a slight smile, that's right, what Patriarch Zhou said is correct. Luo Tian, even if you don't want to die, you still have to. Boom, a loud noise was heard from the midst of the arena. Luo Tian's fists didn't even land on the lava lizard yet when its hot aura had already sent Luo Tian's body flying off like a missile. He smashed heavily into the wall. His head felt like it sank to the ground before feeling dizzy and spraying out a mouthful of blood. It was also this time that the lava lizard began to rush towards his fallen body. This was the line between life and death. Chapter 54 Shocking the entire audience you are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 54, Shocking the entire audience Chapter 54, Shocking the entire audience, too despicable. This lava lizard is practically a fifth-rank demonic beast. The Violet Organization actually dares to do something like this. Despicable. The lava lizard makes an appearance and is already in a berserk status, so that's obviously signs that it's been drugged. I'm afraid this is something man-made. Elder brother, you're saying it's Luo Jianshan. Highly possible. That F asterisk cur, this Luo Jianshan is too sinister. If things continue like this, it's definitely dangerous to little brother Luo. Song Yanchun angrily voiced the unfairness of the situation. Song Yannan had a trace of anger on his face as well. When looking at the injured Luo Tian in the arena, he felt a bit sorry for him as he mumbled. Sixteen years old and already at the profound master third rank. I believe within a thousand years of history, no one in the Jade Mountain City is able to accomplish what he has. It's too bad, too bad this is where he will fall. Sigh. If he was born in my Song family, I believe that we would be able to dominate the entire Jade Mountain City given a few more years. No matter how strong someone is at the profound master third rank is, there's no way they are an opponent for a fifth rank demonic beast. Luo Tian's attack couldn't even penetrate past the huge lizard's defense and had been bounced back flying by its aura. After smashing into the arena's wall, he was now seriously injured. The strength disparity was too much, Luo Tian wasn't its opponent at all. There was no suspense since the start of the match. Ha ha ha, 
that piece of trash Luo Tian is about to die. Back then he was beaten by a beggar to the point of looking like a dog eating shit. Now in just one move, the lava lizard managed to cripple him. A useless crap is indeed still a useless crap, there's no way he'll be able to turn over a new leaf in this lifetime. I knew it, he cheated in the hunting contest to get first place. Or else how could it be possible for a trash like him to kill so many demonic beasts by himself? After harming so many fellow Luo family brethren, he should have known something like this would happen to him one day. Just go die. Many people on the spectator stand were jeering and scolding him. Voices of ridicule, disdain, and contemptuous remarks were coming at an endless pace. Their reason for coming here today was to watch Luo Tian get abused. They wanted to see the biggest joke of Jade Mountain City make a fool of himself. Upon seeing Luo Tian seriously injured, their smiles were similar to celebrating the new year. Fu, Luo Tian shook his head and wiped the blood from the corner of his mouth. He leaned up against the wall to slowly stand back up before staring with narrowed eyes. Bang, 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 each step left a footprint and each step shook the grounds. The entire battle arena was basically shaking violently. The lava lizard was simply too powerful. Fu, Luo Tian exhaled once again. Upon raising his head to look at his surroundings, all he heard were voices of contempt, disdain, and ridicule. The raging flame inside him started to rise up inside his body. He was really sick of this. This sickness and rage and had him basically turn him into a maniac. You guys love talking shit. You guys think insulting this daddy is so much fun. Fine, I will enlighten you scoundrels with this daddy's power. Luo Tian was extremely irritated. If he could, he would have gone to the stands already and beat the audience to the point where their own mothers wouldn't recognize them. His arms sank down to his lower body. His arms started shaking and the profound energy started rippling out of his body. He then clenched his fists. Um, an energy wave visible by the naked eye exploded out from him. The aura around his body suddenly changed as a huge killing intent surged out into the surrounding. The lava lizard's speed didn't slow down as it continued coming closer, the flames on its body possessed power that can incinerate anything. Fatty Lei. Luo Tian roared out before continuing. Release your full power. Ha ha ha, Fong Lei laughed as his face was filled with excitement. He stomped down once with a bang before bursting off directly for the rear of the lava lizard. Also at this time, Luo Tian clenched his fists and once again, got into a stance like a battle axe. He then leapt into the air with his arms raised above his head as if he was about to split the heavens apart. That same move again. Did his brain short circuit or something? He's simply courting death. That's good too. Being smashed by the lava lizard a second time and he'll be meeting Yama, the king of hell. Then we'll be earning a huge amount, ha ha ha, that's right. Since he's going to die anyway, it's the same if he dies now or later. Damn trash, quickly go die. Roar, suddenly. Foam Lei had grabbed the tail behind the lava lizard. His arms bulged out and the veins on it looked like centipedes covering it. A ferocious-looking beast image appeared on his bald head giving off a starry-like red light. His power surged. Foam Lei roared into the sky as his legs dug into the ground. Stop for me. A roar that shook the heavens. Foam Lei's body exploded with a matchless power that did not match up with his profound pupil sixth rank. The current him was like a ferocious beast displaying his domineering arrogance. The lava lizard was abruptly pulled to a stop by Fong Lei. Shock, complete and utter shock. The entire audience was stunned from the shock that Fong Lei gave them. At the same time, while in the air, Luo Tian showed a ferocious sneer as he surveyed the situation and roared. Level 1 Berserk. His profound energy decreased. Um, a loud humming noise came from his body. In an instant. His strength doubled, his speed doubled, 
and his aura doubled. Basically all his attributes had doubled at this moment. Bzzzt, under the effects of berserk, his power raged through his body and his arms almost couldn't handle it. Steam started rising out of Luo Tian's body, visible to the naked eye. In that instant, several experts at the profound master realm changed their expressions. What kind of martial skill would allow him to double his power in an instant? This martial skill is too strong. When did the Luo family possess such a martial skill? Ha ha ha, little brother Luo is definitely not simple. Inside a luxury room. The facial expression of Luo Jianshan and Zhou Tairan both changed. Especially obvious was Zhou Tairan's face as he glanced at Luo Jianshan. Patriarch Luo, I never imagined your Luo family who have such a powerful martial skill. That's not a martial skill of the Luo family. Oh. Patriarch Zhou, that kid Luo Tian must have had some sort of miraculous encounter during the hunting contest. Otherwise there's no way he would be able to kill your little brother Zhou Hengran. But so what if he cultivated a powerful martial skill? Does he really think he is the Lava Lizard's opponent? Even if he's lucky enough to survive this time, I will still make it that he won't be able to live to tomorrow. Ha ha ha, Luo Jianshan's expression changed again as he narrowed his eyes and coldly said. Luo Tian, you will die today no matter what. Inside the middle of the arena. Double the attributes exploded out. The lava lizard was struggling like crazy as the flame on its body burned even more ferociously. Fong Lei's hands were slowly being cooked but he didn't loosen his hold one bit. Within a flash. Luo Tian's pair of fists was like a battle axe that heavily chopped down. Boom dot. The lava lizard's flame aura was shattered as a pair of heavy fists slammed onto its extremely hard head. Bang dot. After the loud noise, the lava lizard's head sank down. Its body followed the motion as Luo Tian's attack had slammed it to the ground causing a cloud of dust to rise up. Boom, over 10,000 people looked on with big round eyes and even forgot to breathe. Their mouths were agape as they stared at Luo Tian in a dumbfounded manner. The entire battle arena was so quiet that a pin drop could be heard. Everyone had been shocked by Luo Tian. What sort of situation is this? What happened? What's going on? They didn't know how to react as their brains twisted around unable to accept the fact before their eyes. It was also this moment when the dust settled, everyone in the battle arena cried out in unison. Ah, the lava lizard climbed back onto its feet. There was a dent on the lava lizard's head as blood started gushing out of that groove. The blood flowed out to its eyes and then to its mouth. The current look of the lava lizard was even more ferocious and more terrifying looking. Its eyes glared at Luo Tian as two sprays of flames shot out of its nostrils. Luo Tian couldn't dodge in time and was instantly struck in the chest before his whole body started burning in unbearable pain. Its huge tail swung out flinging foam lay out dozens of meters away. Foam Lei then slammed into the ground like a ragdoll, tumbling a few times before coming to a stop and fainting. Huh, blood is an even stronger stimulant than the aphrodisiac we provided. This time the lava lizard can truly be said to be in a berserk mode. Luo Tian, let's see if you're going to die or not now. Luo Tian clenched his teeth and angrily cursed out. F asterisk CK your granny. Immediately after. In his mind, he opened up the system's skill page. He then selected the skill berserk and said internally. Level it up. Chapter 55 Level 2 Berserk You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 55 Level 2 Berserk Chapter 55 Level 2 Berserk Demonic beasts were ones that reveled in eating raw bloody meat. The scent of blood was able to stimulate their innate brutal instincts. The current lava lizard was enraged. The large amount of aphrodisiac had already made it go crazy, and now this weak pathetic human had actually injured it. Its head had cracked and blood was gushing out so how can it allow this to happen? You take this tiger for a sick cat if I don't show you some power. 
With the stimulus of two different things, the lava lizard had truly become berserk. The flames on its body became as hot as flowing magma and its ferocious aura caused the audiences several hundred meters away to feel pressured. The audience felt extremely uncomfortable as they couldn't even breathe normally. Although they felt uncomfortable, they were still extremely excited. They were already shocked by Luo Tian's berserk ability, and unable to fully understand how their hearts were feeling about it. And now that the lava lizard had instantly burned Luo Tian alive, the excitement from this show had just multiplied itself. Almost scared this daddy to death. I almost thought that kid Luo Tian was about to win. Damn, what sort of martial skill is that kid cultivating? It's a little too powerful. Fortunately that lava lizard was still holding back or else we would have lost our money here. The lava lizard is completely enraged since it wouldn't allow a tiny human to insult its dignity. Just watch, Luo Tian isn't far from death now. Kill him. Once again, there were screams and yells from the spectator stands. The spectators in the luxury rooms also felt their hearts rise up to their throats before settling down again. Luo Jianshan had a proud smile on his face, Luo Tian, no matter how strong you are, you won't be stronger than a berserk lava lizard. A lava lizard in berserk mode is capable of releasing magma like fire. Once this attack touches you even a little bit, you're pretty much screwed. Even your soul will be devoured by it, ha ha ha, magma fire was a skill all lava lizards possessed. A large amount of dark magma can be sprayed out with an endless devouring power. With any slight contact, the affected area would expand, corrode, and even end up devouring one's soul. Back then within the Jade Mountain City, the Lava Lizard had relied on this skill to go on its killing spree. Out of several hundreds of thousands of citizens, two dot thirds of them perished from the magma fire. Unfair, this is so unfair. Why isn't the Violet Organization putting a stop to this unfairness? Elder Brother, is there any way we can help him? Song Yanchun was extremely anxious and worried as he watched the magma rolling off the lava lizard's body. Song Yennan shook his head as he sighed, there's nothing we can do, everything is up to him. But, sigh. In another area. Zhu Mei smiled in an arrogant and conceited manner. Seeing the injured Luo Tian in the arena, she couldn't help start laughing out loud. You damn trash, let's see whether you can survive this day or not. Bzzzz, bzzzzz, splutter, splutter, the grooves in the scales of the lava lizard started roiling about as dark magma started oozing out. This was the prelude to its magma fire skill. The eyes of the lava lizard became dull as it glared coldly at Luo Tian not too far away. Its eyes seemed to be filled with endless contempt as if it was saying to Luo Tian. Pathetically weak human, this daddy doesn't have time to play with you so just go and die. Bang dot. The lava lizard took a single step, and steam started gushing out from beneath its foot. The water in the soil had immediately evaporated leaving behind a red footprint that started burning. Bang. Another step and the battle arena started shaking. The hot aura started spreading into the atmosphere and the temperature was immediately increased by over 10 degrees. The audience all started sweating from this sudden change. Bang, 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 the lava lizard began to accelerate. Its speed was becoming faster while the magma from its body started roiling about in higher intensity. Bursts of black flames had now started to spray out from its body. Ha ha ha, here it comes. Let's see if this kid will finally die or not. It's over. Not too far away, Luo Tian was standing there with his eyes closed. A system alert sounded off in his mind. Ding. Can you please confirm leveling it up? Yes. Ding. 100,000 experience points have been deducted. Divine Skill Berserk has been leveled up and is currently at level 2. You can release the power of four times the attributes. Level 1 Berserk was double the attributes while level 2 Berserk was four times the attributes. The power was basically squared 2. Martial Skill. 
Berserk Grade Divine Level 2 Consumption 5000 Profound Energy, Your Sister I only raised it by a single level and the consumption went up over 10 times. This F asterisk king bullying has gone too far. Complained Luo Tian. It was also at this time that he loudly roared. Fatty, how long are you planning on sleeping there for? Sleep. Didn't he faint? This Luo Tian must have been frightened to the point of going insane, so he's blabbing nonsense. Phone Lei who was lying on the ground suddenly got up. His whole body was covered in dirt as he scratched his head and grinned foolishly. Boss, this one wants to rest a little bit longer. Let's do this again. This time, I'm going to beat it into meat paste. Luo Tian roared out before stomping down and hurtling towards the lava lizard. Around the same time, Phone Lei's eyes widened as his arms bulged out once again. Surprisingly, traces of lightning could be seen on his palms. Those traces of lightning gradually thickened and eventually covered his hands and became something similar to a pair of silk gloves. This was the power of a lightning attributed demon core. The power of the furious thunder bull exploded forth. Phone Lei directly grabbed onto the lava lizard's tail, completely ignoring the bubbling magma. You damn beast! The flames of rage shot out of the lava lizard as it turned its head about to bite a chunk out of foam lay. You damn four-legged snake grandson, this grandpa is right here. Luo Tian leapt up into the air, his hands clasping onto each other like a battle axe. He was using the same move he had previously used again. The moment before slamming down, Luo Tian roared out. Level 1 Berserk Om, um, a powerful force exploded forth. Ripples of powerful energy were visible to the naked eye. Before the ripples of energy light ended, he once again roared out. Level 2 Berserk. Boom, boom, the sky darkened as a tearing sound seemed to burst forth from the unknown void. Visible lines of powerful energy had now wrapped around Luo Tian's body. His body turned red as if every inch of his skin had been scalded by fire. Holy crap. The power of a level 2 berserk is 2F asterisk king strong. Luo Tian could clearly feel the qualitative changes in his power. The feeling he was currently experiencing was simply too damn awesome. How can it not be powerful when the skill consumes 5000 profound energy? This is practically powerful to the point beyond words. What the hell? He's using that same move again, he's definitely gone insane. That pow, power, oh my god. It seems to have increased several times, everyone stopped breathing as they watched Luo Tian's actions. The lava lizard lifted its head up so that almost half its body was upright. Its height had now reached at least 3 meters tall. It opened up its mouth and directly sprayed out a jet of thick black magma at Luo Tian. Magma Fire The Lava Lizard's Most Powerful Form of Attack Luo Tian's eyes changed as a trace of smile coldly formed on his lips. He had complete confidence in his level 2 berserk as he coldly roared out. Die for me. His pair of fists slammed down. Thunder Tiger Charge Luo Tian twisted his body to avoid the stream of magma before his left and right fist separated like a bow shape. His fists slammed down once again right onto the lava lizard's head. The lava lizard's head was forcefully slammed down as the rest of his body followed suit. Without giving it a chance to rise back up, Luo Tian laughed. Want to get back up? Lie down for me. Boom dot. Another punch slammed out. You damn bastard, bullying this daddy. One more time. Bang dot. You come out and already in berserk mode huh? Go ahead, show this daddy how you're going to berserk some more. Bang dot. You damn four-legged snake acting arrogant in from of this daddy. Go arrogant your mom. Bang dot. Bang, 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 each punch was followed by a loud sound. The power of each punch shook the heavens and the sound of each punch shook the earth. 
Over 10,000 people in the spectator stands were trembling and dumbfounded in their seats. Luo Tian's punches physically landed on the lava lizard's body but also mentally landed on the audience's body. Every one of them had shut their mouths unable to say a thing. It was like their own faces were beaten swollen to the point that they could barely endure anymore. His pair of fists stored up more power. Luo Tian then heavily slammed down and roared. Explode for me. Ding. Chapter 56 Let's go, back to the Luo family to fight the boss you are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 56, Let's go, back to the Luo family to fight the boss Chapter 56, Let's go, back to the Luo family to fight the boss, Ding. At this moment, the entire world seemed to have become quiet. Luo Tian waited patiently. Congratulations to player Luo Tian for killing a lava lizard. You have gained 20,000 experience points, 300 profound energy, congratulations to player Luo Tian for gaining the lava lizard's bloodline. Will you be assimilating it? Congratulations to player Luo Tian for gaining the spine of the lava lizard. Congratulations to player Luo Tian for gaining the lava lizard's ability magma fire. Will you be cultivating it, that, oh my bloody f asterisk king hell. A series of alerts sounded off inside Luo Tian's mind as the items that burst out of the lava lizard made him beyond ecstatic. Especially when it came to the magma fire, that skill was simply too awesome. Although he was able to dodge the lava lizard's skill, the move was truly very strong. The fiery aura, the roiling magma, and that super strong devouring capability. If it weren't for activating the level 2 berserk, there's no way Luo Tian would have been able to avoid it. Level 2 Berserk was four times the attributes, giving him peerless power. Luo Tian had a feeling that he almost couldn't handle that power. Most likely this was the limit of his fleshly body for now. The power that came with a level 2 Berserk was too strong, so his fleshly body of a profound master third rank couldn't handle the explosive power output. Once the four times attributes disappeared, Luo Tian's body turned to mush like he had overdrawn his life force. His entire body had an uncomfortable feeling that he couldn't describe in words. 100,000 profound energy points was very precious and quite a lot to Luo Tian. Leveling Berserk was also something he was forced to do. But if he didn't raise the level of Berserk, the one lying on the ground right now would be him instead. At this point in time, everything seems to be worth it. Just the skill magma fire had made Luo Tian score a big one. Without any hesitation, he immediately made a thought and chose, yes, in learning the skill. Ding! Congratulations to player Luo Tian for learning a new skill, magma fire. Martial skill. Magma fire grade. 3 proficiency. 0 slash 100 consumption. 100 profound energy skill description. The skill is able to release a magma attack which will increase in power at higher levels. At the last great perfection level, the attack will be similar to lava spewing out from a supervolcanic eruption. Oh my f asterisk king god. A supervolcanic eruption. Want to destroy the world huh? Luo Tian was extremely shocked. On planet earth, he knew that eruption of supervolcanoes were capable of wiping out all life on a planet. If he could step into the void in the future and arrive at a new planet. He would then make a single attack and wipe out all the demonic beasts. His experience bar will definitely. He didn't dare to fantasize any further. Awesome, this was way too motherf asterisk king awesome. Luo Tian didn't dare to think about that scene anymore. Fatty. Eh. What the hell fatty, you are truly too fast. Luo Tian faintly smiled, it was only a few seconds from learning his new skill and Feng Lei had already dove in head first into the lava lizard's body. He was drinking blood like crazy and the ferocious looking image on his head showed a pair of starving greedy eyes as it absorbed everything as well. Suddenly. An important thought struck Luo Tian, causing him to remind Feng Lei. Fatty, make sure you don't eat the demon core. 
that thing is still needed to save the girl's life. Fong Lei raised his head with a foolish laugh as blood flowed out of his mouth. Don't worry boss, this time I definitely won't eat the demon core. Not long after, Fong Lei dug out a fluorescent-like crystal within the mess of flesh and blood. A demon core. The lava lizard's demon core. It was also at this time. The speechless audience that was shocked by Luo Tian finally burst into a commotion. Oh my god, what did I just witness? He, 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 mommy, tell me this isn't real, my money, my money. Ha ha ha, this daddy put money on Luo Tian. It's lucky that I didn't change it, ha ha ha. I'm rich. Demon core, it's a demon core. It's the lava lizard's demon core. How is it possible that Luo Tian survived this? Luo Jinshan's eyes became grim as he clenched his fists inside his sleeves. But upon seeing the demon core in Fong Lei's hand, his expression changed to a cold smile. Beside him, Zhou Tairan had an extremely ugly look on his face where he couldn't even say a single word. Ha ha ha, little brother Luo is simply too powerful, he could even kill the lava lizard. I almost cannot hold myself back from worshipping him. Song Yanchun laughed wholeheartedly. Song Yannan also faintly smiled. Upon recalling the power that exploded out of Luo Tian's body, his mind was moved as he felt very fortunate he made that decision to side with Luo Tian. Even if we were to die, we can't offend that person. Out of the 10,000 plus audience in the spectator stands, the person with the ugliest look on their face was Zhu Mei. Her previous smile was like a blooming flower, but now it had twisted into the color of a pig's liver. The ugly look on her face was ugly beyond comparison. Her little fists clenched and unclenched a few times as her eyes suddenly changed. She then mumbled. It's fine that you didn't die since my big brother will be returning soon. By then, I will personally kill you myself. Inside the private staff room. The silence was deafening as Li Gui stared in a dumbfounded manner. Lu Yu was frozen like a dummy. He couldn't help rub his eyes a bit while looking at Luo Tian in the battle arena. He just couldn't believe what he saw was for real, and felt like everything was an illusion. Illusion, this was all an illusion. There was no mother of asterisk king way this was possible. How was this possible? How can someone at the profound master third rank be an opponent of a lava lizard in berserk mode? What kind of martial skill did Luo Tian cultivate? How could it be so powerful to the point of killing a lava lizard? He was rubbing his eyes until they were red, but the fact of this was right before him. Ten pieces of Xian stones as the wager, the payout was 1.10, General Manager Li, we, we don't have that many Xian stones. What, what should we do? One of them asked cautiously. Li Gui temporarily closed his eyes as he heavily exhaled. Without waiting for a reply, Lu Yu's eyes changed as he stepped forward and said. General Manager Li, the lava lizard's demon core. That kid Luo Tian should have used up most of his profound energy, and he's also seriously injured. As long as we get that demon core, pack. Li Gui turned around and slapped out before furiously yelling. Lu Yu, you still want to break the rules of our violet organization. A five-finger red handprint was clearly visible. Li Gui was in rage while Lu Yu clutched his face with his head down. His body was trembling and he didn't even dare to breathe too hard at this moment. They didn't care about one's life or death inside the battle arena. If a human won, everything of the demonic beast belonged to them. If a demonic beast won, the human dies. This was a rule of the Violet Organization that will never change. A rule was already broken when they realized the lava lizard had been drugged and became berserk at the opening. They should have forced the fight to come to a stop based on protocols. But because of being blinded by personal interests, Li Gui didn't do that and knew he had done something wrong. If they were going to scheme after the Lava Lizard's demon core as well, then this was equal to a wrong on top of another wrong. This was the reason why Li Gui was so angry. 
report this to headquarters. Also report our mistakes as well, request a commissioner of the organization to preside over this. I will accept any and all punishment. Li Gui faintly said. Crack. Boom, all the veins on Fong Lei's body popped out making his face quite hideous to behold. A series of cracking sounds was heard as the beast image on his bald head looked like it had eaten its fill and now looked more ferocious and terrifying. Ha ha ha, boss, this one broke through the profound pupil seventh rank. Fong Lei grinned foolishly. Damn. Luo Tian smiled from deep down as he happily said. My cultivation method is already strange enough, so I never expected your cultivation method to be even weirder than mine. Absorbing a demonic beast's blood essence to level up, could Fon Lei be a demonic beast as well? These thoughts once again ran through Luo Tian's mind before he laughed internally. Who cares if he's a demonic beast or not, as long as he's still my brother? Immediately after. Luo Tian waved his hand while his mouth revealed a cold smile. Let's go, back to the Luo family. There were actually more words at the end of the sentence but Luo Tian didn't say it out loud. The complete sentence should be something like this. Let's go, back to the Luo family to fight the boss. Chapter 57 Can you be less shameless? You are listening at novelfull.audio Chapter 57, Can You Be Less Shameless? Chapter 57, Can You Be Less Shameless? Noon, inside the Luo family's meeting hall. Dot all the Luo family elders were gathered here. Luo Jianshan sat at the head of the hall, his eyes slightly cold and a touch of smile on his lips. The other three elders had lowered their heads while whispering to each other. The focal point of their discussion was about Luo Tian. Off to a distance, Luo Tian and Fong Lei who was still covered in the lava lizard's blood, were getting closer one step at a time. Behind those two were many Luo family disciples. There were outer sect disciples and also core elite disciples. They all revealed looks of worship. They all witnessed the fight in the battle arena. They were completely shocked how Luo Tian awed over 10,000 people, the power, the momentum, the arrogance, and the domineering stance he displayed. They now sincerely admired him from the bottom of their hearts. Within the Jade Mountain City, those that clamored disdain gradually disappeared. Another voice replaced it. If it weren't for back then when Luo Tian's Dan Tian was crippled and his cultivation wasted, most likely he would have been a disciple of the Azure Cloud sect by now. The Luo family's hunting contest half a month ago, he single-handedly killed countless demonic beasts but I didn't believe in him. Now I am thoroughly convinced. For such a strong man, how could he be willing to kill other participants? A man like him is like the brightest star in the universe where no matter how much darkness tries to block him, it will never be able to cover his holy brilliance. Big brother Luo Tian, this one really likes you and wants to have your baby, said a middle-aged woman with a waist the size of a barrel. The surrounding people leaned against the nearest wall and started throwing up. The lava lizard was the Jade Mountain City's nightmare. Hundreds of thousands of people were massacred and the Jade Mountain City was almost destroyed. Many people had their families broken so the lava lizard was an existence that everyone hated. Luo Tian killed the lava lizard in front of over 10,000 people, so this was similar to symbolically taking revenge on their behalf. For the time being, Luo Tian had become a hero. Many people were praising and eulogizing him. He's just running some dog shit luck. He's actually a piece of trash, a trash that can't even beat a beggar off the streets, the words weren't finished yet and a crowd of people rushed up. You dare to insult our hero. Beat him for me. Viciously beat him until he dies. Kicks and punches landed, all of them ruthless without holding back. Luo Jinshan's hired thug was beaten black and blue, and even several ribs were broken. There was no way he could get out of bed without a few months of rest. The Luo family. Luo Jinshan watched as Luo Tian entered the hall. He narrowed his eyes before whispering. He's here. 
just move according to my eye gestures. The other three secretly nodded before their expressions turned serious. Luo Tian and Feng Lei had just passed the entrance and their back legs still hadn't fully entered when Luo Jianshan coldly sneered and shouted. Luo Tian, hand over the lava lizard's demon core. Ha! Huh. Luo Tian was surprised for a brief moment before pulling out a demon core. Once the demon core appeared, the main hall was immediately filled with a strong concentration of profound energy. The crystal clear demon core looked like it was releasing an infinite amount of profound energy. One can imagine how strong the profound energy was since this contained the cultivation of the lava lizard for several decades. Gulp. The eyes of the three elders all stared straight at the demon core. Their throats roiled as their eyes reflected the greed in their hearts. Luo Jianshan's eyes slanted as he revealed a satisfied smile. He then excitedly said. So it hasn't been devoured yet. Right after, Luo Jianshan said in a commanding tone. Hand it over. Luo Tian retrieved his hand and lightly smiled, where's the person? Person. What person? Luo Jianshan pretended to show an expression of not knowing what was going on. I don't know who this so-called person is that you're talking about. Luo Tian's eyes narrowed as he cursed out in anger. Luo Jianshan, stop F asterisk king pretending. Hurry up and hand her over. He was not polite and directly cursed out. Luo Jianshan's expression changed ever so slightly. Without giving Luo Jianshan time to react, Luo Changshan slapped the table in anger, such a young age and already disrespecting your elders. Truly a beast that was born from a mother but wasn't taught properly by a father. Luo Tian's eyes changed as he lowly roared out. Level 1 Berserk. Immediately after. Shade Wind Steps. Like the wind and like a shadow, he had traversed the distance. With the speed of lightning. Both fists struck out, one was like thunder and the other like a tiger as these two thick bursts of energy shot out. Bang dot. Luo Changshan didn't have time to react and was already struck flying by Luo Tian's pair of fists. He ended up striking a pillar in the main hall before sliding down and groaning in pain. The entire main hall shook and a layer of dust came showering down. Only the whites were showing in Luo Changshan's eyes. His chest had two fist dents in it and there were no signs of life left in his body. Instant kill. Luo Changshan at the profound master fourth rank was insta-killed. This was too mother of asterisk king crazy. He was sent flying by a set of skills. First was berserk to increase his power, then it was shade wind steps to charge out, then finally it was Thunder Tiger Charge that struck with the force of a mountain sending him airborne. There was almost no gap in. Between using those martial skills. As a professional gamer would describe it, this was skills at the speed of light. It was also at this time that the system made an alert tone. Ding. Congratulations to player Luo Tian for killing Luo Changshan. You gave gained 1500 experience points, 200 profound energy, congratulations to player Luo Tian for gaining two spirit devouring pills. Luo Tian didn't bother with the loot that exploded from Luo Changshan before coldly shouting. You thought I was still the trash like before. It's fine if you insult me but you insulted my father and mother. Simply courting death. This was what it meant to be absolutely domineering. This was a killing blow without any indications. This was the first time in the history of the Luo family. Why would Luo Tian kill Luo Changshan in an instant without warning? The reason is very simple. Luo Changshan's name was in red, so he was obviously an elite monster in an aggressive state. Luo Tian's speed was too fast, even Luo Jianshan didn't have time to react. The expression of those three darkened as they sat there stunned. They never imagined Luo Tian would suddenly make a move, especially when it was a killing move. Luo Jianshan stared with his eyes wide filled with killing intent. The other two were acting cautious and not daring to say a word. For a short time, 
The atmosphere inside the main hall had become oppressive to the point where Fon Lei couldn't help but roar out like crazy. Ah, boom dot. His state of mind seemed to expand, causing ripples of energy to spread out. As if time stopped then continued moving again. The minds of Luo Jianshan and the other two seemed to turn grim in an instant. Openly killing an elder of the Luo family. Luo Tian, your courage is truly over the top. Luo Jianshan roared out with dignity. As his voice faded. He slapped down onto the table and shouted in anger. Is the law enforcement hall present? Law enforcement hall is present. Eight people rushed out from the rear hall with an exquisite gleam in their eyes. They were all experts at the profound master realm. The eight of them quickly surrounded Luo Tian. Luo Tian's lips formed a sneer as he faintly said. Luo Jianshan, it looks like you've prepared this beforehand. Luo Jianshan coldly laughed before loudly saying. Luo Tian, you killed Luo Changshan, you killed Luo Xiaoshan, you killed Luo Ming, and you killed Luo Lin, you killed dozens of Luo family disciples. Killing your own clan brethren, the punishment is death. Luo Tian, you are simply too vicious, you didn't even let your clan brethrens go. They had no enmity with you yet you still made such moves against them. Luo Jianshan said this with an expression of heartache and distress. Luo Tian started laughing. Ha ha ha, ha ha ha, he laughed into the air in a savage manner. Luo Jianshan, can you f asterisk king be a little less shameless? Luo Jianshan's eyes sank as he lowly roared out. Luo Tian, were those people killed by you or not? Luo Tian's temper rose up as he stepped forward. He pointed at Luo Jianshan and directly admitted. Yes, those people deserved their deaths. Since the facade had been torn, there was no need to hold back anymore. The worst case would be a battle. Who was afraid of whom? Chapter 58 Oh shit, the boss threw a special skill you are listening at novel full dot audio. Chapter 58, oh shit, the boss threw a special skill Chapter 58, oh shit, the boss threw a special skill he directly admitted it. This made Luo Jianshan greatly surprised. He thought Luo Tian would deny the charges but never expected him to admit to it without hesitation. Luo Jianshan's despicable looking face formed a smile as he majestically said. You all heard him. Luo Tian has committed a heinous crime so there's no need for a trial, he will be punished immediately. Once Luo Tian dies, the demon core will belong to him. Ha ha ha. Luo Jianshan proudly laughed internally. As long as he gets the demon core, he'll be able to break through the profound master realm. By that time, who in the Luo family would dare to oppose him? Outside the main hall. Everyone had strange looks in their eyes but immediately looked firm again as if they had made a resolution. They quietly observed everything that was happening inside the main hall as if they were wolves waiting to pounce. What is the law enforcement hall still waiting for? Capture him. If he dares to resist, execute him on the spot. Luo Jianshan roared out. The eight experts at the profound master realm tightened their eyes. The hall master of the law enforcement hall, Luo Lai said. Luo Tian, I advise you to give up any thoughts of resisting so that you can avoid any pain to the fleshly body. Otherwise, otherwise what? If you guys think you're capable, come make a move against this daddy. Said Luo Tian full of arrogance. His body exploded forth a strong and violent killing aura causing the entire main hall to be shrouded in a chilled atmosphere. Without waiting for them to make a move, Luo Tian coldly smiled. You want to convict this daddy of a crime? Luo Jianshan, let's see if you have that ability. You want to convict this daddy? Humph. Then this daddy will mention some of your crimes. Luo Tian glanced at Luo Lai before saying. Luo Jianshan, as the acting patriarch, you are clear on the rules of the hunting contest yet you allowed Luo Ming who's at the profound master third rank to help your son. You abused your authority and played favoritism, 
that crime alone is enough to remove your status as the acting patriarch. That's only the first point. Second point. You thought your son's cultivation was the highest so he'd naturally win first place. How can a piece of trash like him be eligible to take first place? As the acting patriarch, you didn't wait for the contest to end before giving the first place prize Xian Stone to your own son. What do you think this crime should be punished by? What are you looking at? Did this daddy say anything wrong? If you have the guts, take out a Xian Stone. If you can take another one out, this daddy will kowtow and admit his wrong. Luo Tian coldly roared out as he looked at Luo Jinshan's enraged eyes. Immediately after, Luo Tian continued. The third point. Before your little brother died, he personally told me how you schemed against me back then. Let alone wasting my cultivation, you crippled my Dan Tian and wanted me to die. It's fortunate that the gods have eyes and gave me a new start. Are you regretting it now? Scheming against the future young patriarch, what do you think this crime should be punished by? As for the outer sect Luo family disciples who acted recklessly, he he, Luo Tian coldly laughed before turning around and looking at those outside of the main hall. He then loudly shouted. Tell them how those people died. They were forced to their deaths by Luo Lin. Several dozens of people said in unison outside. Those outer sect disciples had truly died by Luo Tian's hands, but if it weren't for Luo Lin forcing them, there's no way they would send themselves to death like that. Since people were courting death, they couldn't blame him for his actions. Although this reason was pushing it a bit, this was technically another world, a world where strength is king. This was a place where one's fist can be used to settle all matters. Luo Tian was saying so much stuff in order to let the entire Luo family know how despicable Luo Jianshan had been acting. Luo Jianshan's face was getting uglier by the minute. His fists hidden by his sleeves were clenched tightly as a cold chilling aura exploded from him. Suddenly, Luo Tian roared out. Is the law enforcement hall present? Luo Lai's eyebrows were knitted as he glanced at Luo Tian first before glancing at Luo Jianshan. He then asked. Luo Tian, do you have any evidence of the things you've said? Evidence. Upon hearing the word, Luo Jianshan smiled conceitedly. That's right Luo Tian, do you have evidence to back up what you've said? F asterisk CKU. He said that this daddy was guilty of the crimes and you guys ran out like dogs. This daddy said he was guilty of crimes and you want evidence from this daddy. Luo Lai, it looks like there's no need for your law enforcement hall to exist anymore right? Luo Tian directly scorned him viciously without giving any face. The people of the law enforcement hall were all in the profound master realm. The power they wielded could be comparable to the family's patriarch. But, these past several years, the law enforcement hall had become Luo Jianshan's private tool for getting rid of his opponents. Scorning the law enforcement hall. Why are you not seizing this traitor yet? Luo Jianshan suddenly roared out. The expression of the eight law enforcement hall people changed as they couldn't further tolerate Luo Tian's wanton insults anymore. They all took out their weapons with swish sounds as they were about to attack Luo Tian. Luo Tian coldly laughed into the air before mumbling. The Luo family has become entirely rotten from head to toe, even deep inside the bones. Even the law enforcement hall has become Luo Jianshan's private tool. Looks like the Luo family are beyond saving. Good, good, good. As Luo Tian said those three, good, each one of them was in a heavier tone than the last. Luo Tian finally lowered his fists and shouted out. Since it has come to this, then I'll just establish a new Luo family. You guys, will all have to die. As his voice faded. Luo Tian's aura had once again increased since he didn't dare to be careless when suddenly facing eight experts at the profound master realm. Although they were all at the profound master first rank, the joint power of eight people working together should be quite extraordinary. Level 2 Berserk Boom dot. 
the inside of his body gave off low booming sounds. His attributes exploded to four times the initial values as his entire body became red while giving off a white mist. Power Unparalleled power was released without a care. The aura released was difficult for the eight to endure so their speeds had visibly declined. Luo Jinshan's eyes tightened as he turned towards the other two elders and shouted. What are you guys waiting for? Join them and kill that traitor. The two elders glanced at each other and actually turned a blind eye as if they hadn't seen or heard anything. Noel Duran at this time. With ripples of power surging out, Luo Tian ferociously sneered before coldly saying. I'll let you guys experience my new martial skill. Magma fire. Um, drip, drip, Luo Tian's fist turned from normal red to dark red before finally turning into hot magma. Magma was dripping off his fist before landing on the floor and giving off sizzling sounds. Just hearing this sound made Luo Tian want to describe the feeling as, extremely awesome. Everyone present was shocked by Luo Tian. How did he learn the lava lizard skill? No one knew. Even Fong Lei was clueless. But upon seeing how domineering Luo Tian was, he grinned foolishly and mumbled to himself. Old master, the young master has become stronger now. He has become extremely strong. Outside the main hall, the Luo family disciples all showed eyes of worship. There were even some that couldn't help start screaming. Boss is mighty, boss is domineering. I love you boss, inside the main hall, Luo Jinshan's mind was shaking. He was clenching his teeth so hard that cracking sounds could be heard. An unprecedented amount of killing intent rose up as he said to himself. No matter what, Luo Tian has to die today. Immediately after. Luo Jinshan's profound master ninth rank energy started circulating as his pair of eyes glared at Luo Tian. Thunder strike. Tiger charge. Luo Tian's pair of fists enhanced with magma power and then his profound master third rank attributes multiplied by four times, dealing with eight profound master first rankers was simply overkill. A single punch penetrated a person's chest. Instant kill. Ding. Ding, 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 his eight punches were like lightning as seven system alert tones sounded off. His experience bar soared, his profound energy increased, and his undefeated value went up. Out of the eight people from the law enforcement hall, only Luo Lai was able to awkwardly escape death. There was an extremely ugly look on his face as he paled substantially. Luo Tian arrogantly sneered, not a single one of you can fight well at all. It was also at this moment. Luo Jinshan's figure was like a ghost as he rushed out and roared. Boundless divine palms. Luo Tian's face changed as he never imagined Luo Jinshan would resort to a sneak attack. Shit, the boss threw a special skill right off the bat. I'm screwed. Chapter 59 Just a tiny bit more you are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 59 Just a tiny bit more Chapter 59 Just a tiny bit more Luo Tian was completely unprepared. He thought that Luo Jianshan was going to blah 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 some more words afterwards and never imagined Luo Jianshan would perform a sneak attack, this guy was simply too shameless. The most shocking thing to Luo Tian was that Luo Jianshan had attacked when he had pretty much exhausted his profound energy. Was this purely coincidence or did he somehow see through it? At this time, Luo Tian didn't have time to think about it. His mind focused and his sea of consciousness sank as he used all his strength to defend. Luo Jianshan's grasp of timing was perfect as both his palms looked like they could split mountains or cleave the seas. Boundless Divine Palms Without hindrance, both palms struck straight onto Luo Tian's chest. Luo Tian's chest almost cracked on the impact. The organs under his chest bones trembled and his face immediately paled. His entire body was sent flying out the main hall in an arc before heavily descending towards the ground outside. A pungent scent of blood came up his throat before he involuntarily sprayed out a mouthful of it. Poof, boss. 
boss. Bang dot. Flying more than a dozen meters away before landing outside the main hall and into the courtyard. The thick bluestone tiling on the ground was then smashed into pieces. Uncomfortable. Extremely uncomfortable. His sternum and ribs felt like it had cracked while all his internal organs were in severe pain. It was because of the pain that Luo Tian started gasping for air to control himself. It was already fortunate for him that he didn't directly faint from the strike. Motherf asterisk Ker. The strength at the peak profound master ninth rank is too crazy. A boss is truly a boss. His first move was already a special skill and he had to be so shameless to sneak attack as well. Luo Tian started internally cursing out Luo Jianshan's 18 generation of ancestors. The surrounding Luo family disciples all stared with a dumbfounded expression. Seeing Luo Tian with a pale face, they currently didn't know how to react. Humph. Damn trash. Luo Jianshan coldly humphed. His expression was filled with contempt as his eyes were filled with disdain. Boom dot. Phone Lei's eyes widened in anger. Veins popped out of his forehead as his current expression was beyond ferocious. He basically looked like a demonic beast at this point. Power exploded from his pair of fists giving off crackling sounds of lightning. He then punched out. Whoosh, a whistling wind noise like piercing through the void. There was an illusory dragline of lightning on his fist as it traveled towards the target filled with a terrifying amount of power. Luo Jianshan narrowed his eyes as he coldly humphed, you're courting death. Watch out fatty. Luo Tian cried out, but it was too late. Feng Lei was enraged as he disregarded everything while striking out. He was merely at the profound pupil 7th rank. Even though he had consumed the thunder attributed demon core of the furious thunder bull and his abilities could match the early stages of a profound master realm, he was nonetheless dealing with Luo Jianshan who was at the peak of the profound master ninth rank. The strength disparity was too big. Dot Luo Jianshan's body shifted to the side as he struck out a palm. He had dodged from Feng Lei's punch and his palm landed right onto Feng Lei's chin. Bang dot. Feng Lei with a body weight of 250 genes was sent flying into the air. His body flew in an arc before smashing heavily onto the ground. A dull thud was heard as his entire body hit the ground. The tiles on the floor were sent flying all over the area as a mouthful of blood gurgled out. It only took one strike for each person. They were both sent flying and were now seriously injured. Luo Jianshan's strength was too powerful. Luo Jianshan walked towards the entrance of the main hall and coldly laughed. You want to fight with me? Even your father was not my opponent and a lowlife like you wants to challenge me. Too proud. Luo Jianshan was acting way too proud. Immediately after. Luo Jianshan coldly laughed again and cried out. Someone come and search for the demon core on his body. Then just beat him to death. We obey. Upon the command, over a dozen elite core disciples came rushing forth from the surrounding. First it was the law enforcement hall, now it was the elite core disciples. Everything was controlled by the palms of Luo Jianshan. The combined strength of these dozens of core disciples was even stronger than the eight law enforcement hall members. Protect the boss and big brother fatty. It was unknown who suddenly yelled this out but those outer sect disciples who were scared silly immediately felt a change in their eyes. Another person then cried out. Protect the young master. Who dares to approach him and this daddy will fight with his life on the line. Whoever dares to touch a hair of the young master, this daddy will kill him. Luo Ming, you dare to f asterisk king touch my young master, I'll immediately tell my little sister to break up with you. Dozens of Luo family outer sect disciples made a circle protecting Luo Tian and Feng Lei in the middle. These were the people who agreed to follow Luo Tian while they were participating in the hunting contest. They believed that Luo Tian will bring them a better tomorrow, and his rapid growth had made them even more convinced. These guys believed in Luo Tian and even worshipped him. 
that's why they were using their life to protect him. They were all hot-blooded youths around 17 or 18 years old. With a single promise in the hunting contest, they didn't compromise their integrity when even facing the possible persecution of Luo Jianshan. At this time, apart from them having to deal with the acting patriarch at the peak profound master ninth rank, they also had to deal with the Luo family elite disciples who were all above them in strength. Once the battle starts, there will only be one outcome, they will all die. Their young tender faces were all serious looking as they didn't retreat a single step. They all had facial expressions that depicted a momentum, if you dare approach, this daddy will fight you with his life on the line. Luo Tian was moved. With one side of his face still plastered on the ground, Feng Lei managed a foolish grin. Luo Jianshan's eyes narrowed as his killing intent increased. You all want to rebel. Good, good, very good. Kill them all and don't leave a single one behind. Luo Jianshan coldly yelled out. The faces on many of the elite disciples darkened. There were many of them who had relatives in the outer sect, there were even some who had biological siblings. Wanting them to kill their own family. They hesitated for a short time. Luo Jianshan roared out in anger. Didn't you hear me? I said to kill them all. The eyes of the elite disciples all sank as they drew out their swords. They all took a step forward. They didn't dare to disobey the words of the patriarch. Moreover, these elite disciples were pretty much single-handedly groomed by Luo Jianshan. For all these years, the acting patriarch Luo Jianshan was in control of the entire Luo family. Naturally that included the law enforcement hall and the core disciples. As for the outer sect disciples. For those that he didn't place any importance in his eyes, of course he didn't bother with them. Who dares to touch my brothers? Die. Suddenly. Luo Tian struggled to stand up and immediately consumed a medicinal pill. Once the pill was ingested, his injuries lightened up and his pain was eased by several notches. He coldly swept his eyes around, if you don't believe me, go ahead and give it a try. Also around this time, Feng Lei struggled to stand up before protecting one side of Luo Tian. He eyes was locked onto Luo Jianshan afraid that he would make another sneak attack. He wasn't prepared before but this time, he wouldn't let Luo Jianshan succeed. Humph. Still so stubborn when you're close to death. Luo Jianshan faintly sneered before continuing. Luo Tian, you've exhausted your profound energy and you're seriously injured. What are you going to use to fight with me now? He seemed to have seen through everything about Luo Tian. He activated the level 2 berserk in the battle arena already. Now in the Luo family, he activated it a second time. 10,000 points of profound energy was too great of a consumption. Indeed. The profound energy Luo Tian had was pretty much all gone. There was no way he could activate another level 2 berserk. Luo Tian's mind was startled as he never imagined Luo Jianshan was able to see through how much profound energy he had. He then asked in astonishment. Luo Jianshan, it looks like my death is certain today. That's right. Luo Jianshan laughed out conceitedly. Luo Tian asked again. Since it's like this, can I see Li Shui one last time? Since you're going to die anyway, hand over the demon core and I'll let you two see each other. Luo Jianshan smiled. Luo Tian took out the demon core and bitterly smiled. Once I see her, I will immediately hand this demon core over. Seeing the demon core in Luo Tian's hand, Luo Jianshan's eyes brightened. He then pointed at someone, bring her out. Luo Chen looked enraged with a sword trained on Li Shui's neck. He then crazily roared out. Luo Tian. Big brother Luo Tian. Li Shui's face looked haggard as if she still hadn't fully recovered her senses. Upon seeing Luo Tian's pale face, she was so worried that she quickly blurted out. Big brother Luo Tian, don't worry about me, nothing will happen to me. With the sharp blade of the sword resting on her jugular vein, 
there was not a hint of fear on her face. She was only worried about Luo Tian. Luo Jianshan smiled, now that you've seen her, you can hand over the demon core now right? Luo Tian was opening up the system in his mind and looking up his experience bar. He then put the demon core back inside his person and coldly smiled, if you have the guts, come get it yourself. Luo Jianshan's face darkened as he angrily shouted. Kill him for me. Only missing 0.01%. Just a tiny bit more to go, Luo Tian was anxiously waiting for it. Chapter 60 Those that block me shall die you are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 60 Those that block me shall die Chapter 60 Those that block me shall die Luo Tian didn't bring all his transformer puppets back with him. Ever since he left the ghostly mountain range, his experience bar never stopped increasing. Even though it wasn't rising up as fast as before, the speed of his experience bar was still rather optimistic looking. Omega Supreme, Bumblebee, and Megatron were still killing non-stop. Everywhere they went through would be littered with the corpse of demonic beasts. In the outer periphery of the ghostly mountain range, they were basically killing machines. They were killing non-stop, so the system inside Luo Tian's mind would endlessly sound off alert tones. This was his chess move. When he broke through into the profound master third rank, Luo Tian thought the increase of his strength under level 1 berserk would be enough to deal with the rank 4 demonic beast lava lizard. Things unexpectedly changed beyond his calculations. Dot he was forced to spend a hundred thousand experience points to level up berserk. If he hadn't leveled up berserk in the battle arena, he would have broken through to the profound master fourth rank by now. But if he didn't level up berserk, he would have died within the battle arena. His experience was rising slowly while Luo Tian anxiously waited. He was waiting to level up. His cultivation method was completely different to the people of this world. Since his cultivation was similar to playing a video game, leveling up would mean his health and mana bars would refill itself. With the health and mana bars refilling itself, that meant his injuries would automatically recover. This was similar to being resurrected in place. His profound energy was pretty much exhausted so he couldn't activate any skills. If he were to go head to head against Luo Jianshan right now, his ending will certainly be quite miserable. Moreover, once he dies, Feng Lei and Li Shui will die as well. And those brothers that believed in him will also die. After living on earth for 20 years, he had no girlfriend and no brothers. He basically lived on inflatable dolls and his right hand. With such a dry and colorless life, it was actually quite difficult to endure. This life here made his blood boil. He had brothers and he even had a girl. Luo Tian was going to fight with his life to cherish this and to protect them with all he had. Those who touch my brothers, die. Those who touch my woman, their entire family will die. This was Luo Tian's determination which he will pay whatever the price to make happen. Ding! Congratulations to player Luo Tian for killing a scarlet flamed wolf. You have gained 200 experience, 20 profound energy, ding! His experience continued increasing like this. The experience bar was almost full and he was only missing 0.01% before leveling up. Luo Tian was standing there within the crowd with his lips slightly curved to reveal a calm smile. Luo Jinshan's eyebrows were slightly in a frown as he asked himself. What is he waiting for? Unknown why but. Luo Jinshan's couldn't help feel a trace of fear rising from his heart. This feeling had started to make him angry so he forced the fear out of his mind with a shake. He then coldly smiled and said. Luo Chen, didn't you always wanted to put your hands on this girl? She is now yours. You can play with her however you want. Once you're tired of her, you can give her to your fellow brothers to play with. Once they are tired of her, she can be placed in the joyful spring courtyard for the entire city to play with. But you must remember not to charge the customers so that even the beggars on the street can play with her. Luo Chen's eyes brightened as he heavily gulped down his saliva. 
he then laughed cheerfully and said. Thank you Patriarch, I will definitely do what you've said. Not only will I let the entire city play her, I will even let a dog, Li Shuer's face paled as her body showed a noticeable faint tremble. Ag! You're courting death. Foam Lei suddenly became enraged. His person seemed to resemble a wild beast as he rushed out. Luo Tian's jaws were clenching so hard that cracking sounds were heard. His eyes had become bloodshot as he roared. Lu Chen, I dare you to touch a single hair on her. Block him for me. Luo Jianshan waved his hand as he glared coldly. Immediately after. Seven elite disciples rushed out and drew their sword in unison, managing to block Fong Lei's path. Fong Lei completely ignored it and continued rushing at the drawn swords. His large body then pounced on them like a small mountain. Puchi Puchi Puchi, a series of five swords managed to stab in. Fong Lei's body now had five extra bloody holes with blood flowing out. It was also at this moment that each of his hand grasped onto the head of two disciples. His hand squeezed with might and directly crushed their skulls. Fresh blood with brain matter splattered the surrounding area. The scene was extremely terrifying to behold. Everyone in the area felt a shiver go down their spine. It was also around this time that Luo Chen looked at Luo Tian in a ferocious manner before arrogantly laughing. He grabbed onto Li Shuer's hair and brought it up to his nose. He then said with an enjoyable expression. Smells very nice. You mother of asterisk Kerr, he was only missing a tiny bit of experience before leveling up, but Luo Tian couldn't endure this anymore. He threw out a spatial plague into the air and roared out. Optimus Prime, kill him for me. Luo Jianshan was already prepared as he coldly smiled, it has finally come out. Luo Jianshan already knew that Luo Tian had iron monsters under his control. He thought that Luo Tian would use it in the battle arena but never imagined it would stay in used. He had been carefully holding back in preparation for this move of Luo Tian's. Seeing the spatial plague flying into the air, his body immediately moved as a palm strike filled with thick profound energy struck out. Bang dot. The spatial plaque was directly obliterated into powder. Once a spatial plaque was destroyed, everything inside it will be swallowed up by the void and no longer exist. Optimus Prime never descended. Luo Jianshan coldly laughed, there's still two more so you might as well release them. Luo Chen was so scared that his legs went soft as he carefully hid behind Li Shuer. He then poked his head out and smiled sinisterly, Luo Tian, you want this daddy to die. You should wait for death yourself, ha ha ha, Luo Tian's eyes tightened as he said to himself. So it's really true. This was exactly as he expected, Luo Jianshan already knew about him possessing the puppet soldiers. But why would he say there was only two more? Could it be? Luo Tian started checking his experience bar again and narrowed his eyes. He then said internally. Since that's the case, his right hand pulled out three spatial plaques and coldly smiled, let's see how many you can destroy. The three spatial plaques were thrown in two different directions. Luo Tian was out of profound energy and didn't dare to carelessly fight back. At the same time, he was worried that Luo Jianshan might be despicable enough to try another sneak attack. The only option he was left with now was to use his last puppet soldier Optimus Prime. Two spatial plaques were thrown towards the main hall while one was thrown behind Luo Tian's back. He had to succeed. Whoosh, 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 bang, bang dot. Luo Jianshan easily destroyed the two spatial plaques while he coldly smiled at the one flying behind Luo Tian. He then jokingly said. Luo Tian, did your arms become weak and throw it in the wrong direction? As his voice faded. Boom dot. A black and shiny Optimus Prime with its body dripping with demonic beast blood descended from the sky and landed directly behind the elite disciples. Its pair of iron fists heavily slammed down. And two people were smashed into meat paste. It was also at this time that a system alert tone sounded off in Luo Tian's mind. 
Ding. Ding. Luo Tian took one step forward and grinned in a vicious manner. Soon after. His eyes faintly closed as his long-awaited moment had finally arrived. Ding. Congratulations to player Luo Tian for leveling up. You are currently at the Profound Master 4th rank. His entire state of being recovered which included his mind, sea of consciousness, internal organs, the injuries all over his body, and finally his profound energy. Everything became full again. Boom dot. Level 2 Berserk. Ahm, um, for times the attributes exploded forth as his bubbling power erupted. Luo Tian's pent-up rage and killing intent was now being released in endless waves. He no longer needed to suppress it. Luo Jinshan's body silently shivered as he immediately took a step back. He then shouted. All of you attack together. Whoever manages to kill him, the demon core will belong to that person. The eyes on those elite core disciples changed. A demon core. For them, this was a supreme treasure that would allow them to directly ascend to the heavens. In just one moment, all of them rushed towards Luo Tian. Luo Jianshan grabbed onto Li Shui and shoved Luo Qin forward, you attack as well. Luo Tian's killing intent rose to the heavens as he roared out. Those that block me shall die.